Hi guys, welcome to another blog on my channel and today's blog is about data science field, how freshers can come to Germany or what are the chances of studying data science subjects like AI, machine learning, what are the job prospects, what kind of skills you should have and what's the job market for these fields. So the guest today is none other than Trupesh who is right now data scientist also working in AI also machine learning and whatnot so he will tell about him now so first of all Krupesh introduce yourself hi guys I'm Krupesh I'm working as a data scientist in finance here and yeah as Priyanka said I'm working in the field of AI machine learning but my domain has been supply chain and finance until now so tell me what did you study tell me first about your bachelor's did you work in India and how did you get the idea to do masters in Germany. So first of all, my bachelor's was in electrical and electronics engineering in India. And then I worked for five years in automotive. So because automotive has always been my interest. And after working for five years in India, I thought automotive, so Germany is a name that comes to your mind. So I did my master's here also in automotive and then started doing internships and uh, work student jobs in automotive industries themselves. But while doing those jobs, I realized that so much importance is given to software. Most of those jobs were like doing some kind of data analytics in the automotive area or they wanted some kind of machine learning models so I slowly started transitioning in that direction because that was also very interesting and it was a booming industry at that time when I started doing my master's so in that direction I started applying for master thesis and my master thesis was actually in machine learning and that is how I got into like completely into the data science field and after that I got a job as a data scientist so okay. that's how I transitioned from electrical engineering to data data science so can others also do the same like people who have studied mechanical engineering or electrical engineering or production engineering can they move to data science and AI fields I think everyone can move into the data science fields like people think most of the times data science is like very software oriented it's not that way you have to think data science as software that is supporting traditional domains so you have like very research oriented data science where people are developing algorithms for machine learning people are developing AI that would require you to have lot of foundations in software but if you want to do data science in traditional areas like mechanical engineering supply chain where a lot of data is generated so you have to make your foundations in statistics stronger and in that way you can use your statistics and software knowledge that you do on the job itself in order to help some traditional domain do better so do more modeling for supply chain and so on so you can be a mechanical engineer you can be an electrical engineer or you can probably not be an engineer at all you can do some business uh, management industrial commerce. engineering business management commerce but if you learn statistics well then you can start that foundation from there on and use that as a base for you so that you can go in that area and do data science then so for example i've done my bachelor's <laughs> in mechanical engineer uh, or in commerce or anything and i want to move to ai field so so what should I do? What skills should I focus right now? Where should I start? So the first thing is you need interest for that because without that it won't happen. Just because the world is saying data science is the hot new field or data science is the best field of the 21st century and so on. It doesn't depend on that. You have to see if you have interest for that because it is boring. It is time consuming and you really need to grind through the details. So your statistics has to be strong. Like in this example, if you have done commerce and you have interest in data science, try to learn your statistics concept and try to do small projects like which are there online like there might be hackathons there might be some open data which is in the commerce area like housing market or real estate market try to analyze that and try to understand the concepts of data first and only then if you are feeling that uh, the interest is there that you can carry on in that field then you can try to do some courses learn programming language R, Python and so on and then from those stages you can try to switch apply for more projects or jobs what uh, subjects or what kind of course should I start with if I don't know anything? I'll give you my example itself. I did my foundations in Python, foundations of data analytics in Python, which was a very good course to get an understanding of the statistical concepts and apply them through a programming language. So I would suggest do some kind of course in this direction, which gives you statistical concepts and programming concepts at the same time. So if I'm not from IT background, will companies still hire me? 
uh that is a very difficult question and it's very subjective so first of all they will hire you if you have a project background so if you have done some hackathons if you have demonstrate project experience if you have online portfolio github codes and so on then you can show that in the interview and there is a high possibility that they would hire you because they normally don't see that you have done this much in com- commerce area and not done any data analysis at all you have to show or display your portfolio and show your projects and there would be a good chance of hiring and what are the average salaries then for freshers or someone with one or two years of experience so for freshers it's pretty much a little bit higher than the average salary of germany i would say it starts from 55 60 in the data science area and then depending on your seniority it can go very high okay yeah because there are some people i know they also have 150000 in cloud and ai domain mm-hmm. in germany itself so that's very very high salary for germany so how is the job market in germany right now for data science and ai So the job market for data science and AI is pretty good at present I would say because there is not that much supply of engineers and the demand is very high. AI is like the buzzword right now. All the companies want something to do with AI. They want AI engineers everywhere despite probably many companies not knowing what to do with it. The demand is there. But also uh, you have to be very experienced when you say a field like AI engineer. That involves lot of concepts in software foundations like machine learning, statistics cloud lot of technologies you should be able to handle very efficiently and apply them as well so which country is the best to move should i only choose germany or there are other countries which are better for data science ai domains I would suggest look for other countries as well. Germany has lot of demand for AI but also the jobs depend on you having German knowledge. So if there is a possibility that you get a job somewhere in Netherlands for example or any English speaking country that would be much more advantageous because then you don't have an additional headache of trying to learn a new language in addition to probably some sort of Australia, course. UK. Yes, Australia, UK certainly yeah but in those cases then you would have to see the visa things. But yes the demand and for ai data science is very high throughout the world and there is not enough supply so it's a good chance for people who are in traditional backgrounds and who are probably thinking of switching careers and moving into a different field of data science so that's it for today i hope you got all your answers about data science and ai domain should you do the degree for it what kind of experience is required or how should a fresher start there if you have any other questions just put it in the comments and subscribe because there's a lot of effort involved in this video and follow for more bye